been almost four years since my wife left me, and it's been almost five months since I've even been in a relationship at all. You know, I figured after three strikes in one year, I'm fucking done, folks. Done with that fucking sucker roll, man. But, you know, I was thinking, the only two things I really miss about being married is help with the kids and help with the fucking rent. Other than that, I don't miss all the fucking bullshit. I was just weighing all these things out of my head today. And after a while, you know, after the last few months of just riding so, I was like, you know, this is, I can handle this shit. You get used to it, man. I mean, I don't have to deal with any fucking bullshit. I mean, that's the big thing, man. If I need some company, all I gotta do is make a fucking phone call. But there's certain shit that I just don't miss about being married. I don't miss the fucking yarn barn. I don't miss the fucking fabric store. I don't miss going to the fucking mall. I don't miss shopping. I don't miss wasting a whole fucking weekend at the in-laws house. <laughs> I don't miss not having my own personal time. You know, guys, when you're in a relationship and your old lady knows that you got some personal time, some freed up time. Oh, you got some free time? Well, let's fill it up with some shit. I don't miss being volunteered for shit. I told Shirley and them that you had come help move the piano. You ever had to move a fucking piano? Nothing worse than being volunteered for some shit. They done spoke for you and you're a fucking asshole if you don't show up. You don't work a 12-hour day. Now you got to go help somebody fucking move? Fuck that. I don't miss conversations that start with... Huh, we need to talk. Fuck that, we don't need to talk. Whatever you got to say, bitch, I don't want to fucking hear it. Keep it to your fucking self. Conversation's over before it even gets started. I don't miss trying to get a bitch in a good mood when she woke up determined to be fucked off about nothing all fucking day. I don't miss that bullshit. I don't miss spending my last 60 bucks on a fucking set of roses for an ungrateful motherfucker that doesn't deserve them. I don't miss that other bullshit, you know, where they want to get on to you and say, Oh, you shouldn't talk to your family about our problems. Our problems should stay between us at home. Fucking A. Then why the fuck are you running to work blabbing your fucking business to all your girlfriends and fucking coworkers about what a dick I am? Fuck you. I don't miss living a fucking lie. I don't miss having to explain who my fucking friends are. It's so much nicer when you can just live your life, you can have friends, you can see friends, you can call friends, you can hang out with friends, you can make new friends, and it's all okay. There's nobody there that, uh, who is that? When did you meet them? Did y'all ever date? And then after a while, it's, uh, who's that? Who's that bitch? Uh, that's a fucking friend of mine I've known since the fourth grade. Uh-huh. Are you fucking her? Bullshit. I don't miss that bullshit. I don't miss being questioned every time I want to go to the fucking store. Where are you really going? Don't miss that shit at all. I don't miss the double standard, where they want to go out and do girls' night every fucking weekend, but yet you want to go camping with one of your buddies once a fucking year, and it's a big fucking deal. God forbid if you derive pleasure from anything other than them, or without their fucking permission. Fuck that shit. Here's another thing I don't miss. Those stupid-ass statements and sentences that start with, I thought you said. I thought you said you were going to go clean out the garage this weekend. I thought you said you're going to quit smoking. Like they give a fuck. At least you thought I said. I thought you said, don't think, bitch. Nobody cares what you think. <laughs> you know? Woo! Yeah, I don't miss that shit. For those of you out there who are fucked off because you want to be in a relationship. I just wish I had somebody in my life. Fucking get over it, man. Just fucking enjoy your life, man. Enjoy your fucking ride all by your fucking self. Think about all the fucking horse shit. Think about the fact, just the simplest little shit that you can pick up a phone and call somebody on the phone and talk to them without some dippy motherfucker standing in the doorway. Hey, who are you talking to? Are you going to be on the phone all day? I'll be on the phone till I'm done, bitch. Fuck that shit, man. I do not miss that simple bitch shit at all. Because it's always the double standard. Anything that you're doing is fucked up until they're doing it. Let you bring your monkey ass in the fucking room and ask the bitch how long she's going to be on the phone. And see if she don't show out like a motherfucker for whoever she's talking to. Here's another thing. 
When you're single, it's real easy to get laid. But when you're married, somehow you got to earn the shit, which is completely fucked, which is a marriage killer. But all she's got to do is lay the fuck up in bed naked, and you know you better fucking serve it, right? Lay your funky ass up in bed naked and see how the bitch wants to treat you. What are you doing? What? Why are you naked? Nobody said we were going to do anything tonight. Oh, my God. Put your clothes on. Yeah, make a fuck out of you. You'll feel like a jackass. Dude. <laughs> you know, married guys, you know what I'm talking about. So for you married guys out there that are living that fucking life and you're miserable, one day that bitch will fuck around on you. One day the bitch will get sick of your bullshit. She will find some excuse to fucking leave for one reason. I'm just not happy. She'll use that I'm just not happy cop out and the bitch will be gone. And you're going to cry and you're going to get all fucked up about it. But dudes, you'll get over it. You will get over the bitch. I don't care how special she is today. Dude, I don't care how codependent you are on this motherfucker. You will adjust. You will get over the fucking bitch. And you'll look back one day and think, God, thank you, bitch. It is so nice to live a life this simple bitch free.